Hi everyone, Brad Campbell here. One of the most misunderstood and often underestimated aspects of securing a building is the glass type that's used in a building. Now this is a very busy storefront. This is a retail store here. This is your typical retail store. We've got a glass door, a whole bunch of glass all around. This is very vulnerable. Anyone can walk up, break this glass, step right inside in seconds. The cameras aren't gonna be able to stop them. The alarm system isn't gonna be able to stop them. They're gonna be in and out. They'll be gone before the police ever arrive. How do we secure these windows? Well, this is a broad topic and one that I certainly cannot cover in a single blog post, but we will start out with the most fundamental thing that you would need to know when you're vetting out vendors and looking at different security products for your glass storefront, school, home, or commercial building. There's two different types of glass that are predominantly used in these types of buildings. One would be tempered. This door is gonna be tempered. Everything on the side of the door and down near the ground by code for safety reasons has to be tempered. These are the most accident prone, highest traffic areas. Tempered glass has a brake pattern that's under, it's under compression, the glass when it's heat strengthened. And when it breaks, it pops into a million little cubes. That's great for safety. It is safer than a big shard of glass, like annealed glass. But unfortunately, very difficult to hold something that's in a million cubes inside the frame. It has a tendency to want to drop to the ground. A tempered window, you break it, you're right inside. So the way that we secure a tempered window to the frame is a significant part of, of properly securing a building. And this is one of the things that we see over and over and over again that is improperly done. And people think they have security and they absolutely do not have good security. So let's talk about the different products that we use to secure windows and glass doors in most buildings. That includes homes, retail stores, commercial buildings, and schools. There are four products that we use to secure the windows and glass doors in buildings. First is 3M security window film. Second would be our riot glass, very robust laminated security glass. Third is our armor plast, which is an unbreakable containment grade panel. that's also available with a UL 752 ballistic rating. And last but certainly not least are our Campbell security screens. I'll delve into these products in great detail in future blog posts, but today I really just wanted to give you a general overview. So I'm going to go over the basics of these four technologies today and then uh, look for future videos for in-depth reviews on these. So I have to revert back to the number one thing that we're looking at with determining which of these products we would use in a given area, and that is the glass type. If it's annealed glass, we can use window film and not attach it. It's better to attach it, but we can install window film on annealed glass and it performs quite well, surprisingly well. Actually, I've smashed a lot of windows to test it. If you're a bad guy and you want to get through this, you're going to probably cut yourself and it's just not going to be easy to dislodge that. The reason is because you have great big shards of glass and films all holding it together. Your time delay generally with window film we say is up to a minute and a half and largely that depends on how determined the guy is and the how heavy the tools are, how aggressive he's being, absolutely has to be attached at the edges. Now, a lot of this is going to de be determined by the thickness of the film. We've got security films anywhere from four mil up to 15 mil, and there's some manufacturers that make an even thicker film than that. The nice thing about window film is that it can serve multiple purposes. It's great for bomb blast mitigation. It, the number one cause of death in a blast is the flying glass. More so than the blast itself or collapsing buildings. Statistically, flying glass is the big problem you have with a bomb blast. Applying film to everything and attaching it to hold that broken glass in the frame under force works well. It's been tested a lot in both live shots and in a um, shock tube, which blasts compressed air through. I've been to some of these and it's pretty impressive. Window film performs very well and we can get a GSA level uh, performance condition two, which is considered very safe. The next product on the list is our Riot Glass. We've developed this super robust laminated glass. It is basically two pieces of glass with a super strong inner layer. It's 100 times stiffer and five times stronger than a regular laminated glass. That means that you're getting something similar to a polycarbonate, uh, sort of a mix between polycarbonate and window film. So it's a big step up from the robustness of window film, very hard to penetrate, very hard to get through. 
even if you can smash through it with a blunt instrument and get a hand inside, you're gonna take forever to get your whole body through this thing. All the properties of glass, available in single pane, dual pane, low E, tinted, all sorts of sizes, different thicknesses, air gaps. We custom make this product to suit your particular situation and we just retrofit it in your existing frames. So pull out your existing glass, put in the new Riot glass, and you're all set. The next product on our list is Armorplast. This is a proprietary combination of acrylics, polycarbonates, and other plastics. It's containment grade, it's extremely robust. So if you want something that's gonna keep the guy on the other side pretty much no matter what he does, then this is the way to go. It's available in UL752 ballistic rating. It has custom framing, we can overglaze or backglaze, or we can replace your existing glass with Armorplast. This is by far our most robust reglazing solution. Virtually impenetrable. And speaking of impenetrable, our Campbell security screens are a stainless steel screen that is powder coated black. It looks very much like an insect screen, but bad guys are not getting through this. I've tested it many, many times with box cutters, crowbars, baseball bats. I've kicked it. I've, you know, run into it with my full body weight. They're super tough. A great example of where we'd, we would use a Campbell security screen is on a home, pretty much any window on a home. We have screens on most of our windows and uh, most homes anyway. So you can open up your windows at night or during the day. You can leave your home with your windows open and enjoy, you know, a nice cross breeze. Your pets will stay cooler if you're not running your air conditioner. You can sleep at night with your windows open, enjoy nice fresh air, and not worry about some bad guy creeping in your house. There is a fire egress function, so if you need to get out in an emergency, you can. I just really love these screens. They're, they're great for even solid wood front doors uh, because everybody knows that if you really kick a wood door, the striker doesn't go in very deep and it just, you know, it's gonna just blast your inner frame wide open. Even with a smaller person kicking it, there's not hard to breach a front door. It's just a great versatile tool and we install a ton of these security screens. We love them, customers love them. Really well built, nice looking, available in a lot of colors. Uh, keeps the bugs out, keeps the bad guys out, keeps your pets in and small children. You don't have to worry about your child wandering off or being able to push through a screen or your dog jumping through the screen and eating the mailman. Just a very versatile, nice looking, aesthetically pleasing. Doesn't change the curb appeal of your home. Uh, just a beautiful product. I hope this has been helpful. Please remember to like the video and hit the subscribe button. There's also a little bell beside the subscribe button. If you click that bell, then you'll get a notification when I post a new video. Thanks a lot, we'll see you next time.